Welcome back to the Professor's Lab. I'm Professor V, and this is round one of the League Cup that happened at Die Hard Games on July 20th, 2024. If you didn't know, Die Hard League happens every Thursday at 6 p.m. Central, featuring casual and tournament play of whatever format everyone wants. More info in the description, and check out Pokemon's Event Locator for Premiere and other events at the shop, such as League Challenges, League Cups, pre-releases, and more. Please hit that like button right quick, subscribe to this channel, ring the bell for notifications, say what you need to say in the comments, and all that other good free stuff. But anyways, let's research this game. On the left, Serena, EX versus Palkia, Articuno, Palkia, V in the active, Articuno hits the bench here, looks like that player is going first. After they bench the Articuno, they pass things over to our Serena player who plays a Nest Ball. That item card allows them to search their deck for a basic Pokemon. Radiant Hisuian Sneasler fits that bill just right with its Poison Peak ability. That combos with the Serena EX and Brute Bonnet as well in this deck. As that strategy begins to unfold, we'll talk more about it. But before that, an Iono is the supporter for turn. Both players shuffle their hands, put them at the bottom of the deck, and then draw from the top cards equal to their remaining prize cards. Both players get six cards here from the top. I see that shiny pink prime catcher in hand. I see a nest ball as well, so we can establish a bound sweet this turn. That is great. So nest ball is played. Bound sweet joins the party here. 60 HP Pokemon basically just there to evolve into that Serena EX with the powerful Icicle Soul attack. For one grass energy, put damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon until its remaining HP is 30. Grass energy attached to that bound sweet. And things are passed over to our Palkia player here. Earthen Vessel being eyed up in hand here. Discarding an Articuno in order to search the deck for two basic energy, two waters. Pulled out of the deck, <laughs> another Earthen Vessel played, one of those waters discarded to search the deck for two more basic energy. A water and a darkness energy found this time. I wonder what that darkness energy is used for here in this Palkia V Articuno deck. Hmm. Monkey Dory comes down and says, this is why. Energy attached to the active Palkia V and Palkia V uses its rule to region attack for one water energy search your deck for a stadium card to add to your hand. Kind of a lackluster turn for our Palkia player, but the, some cards were thinned out of the deck. More resources were added to the hand for next turn at least. As play resumes over on our Serena, Serena's side. They're going to start things off with Irida, which basically reads, Make a Serena EX. Irida can search the deck for a item card and a water type Pokemon, basic or evolution. So a common strategy with the card in this deck and uh, other decks is played with, for example, like in Chien Pao, is to find that rare candy as the item and the Serena EX as the water type Pokemon. The rare candy, of course, will allow that Bound Suite to evolve into Serena EX right now. Our player immediately has to, our Palkia player immediately has to take a look <laughs> at the Serena and see what they're up against here. It's just not a usual matchup, but their deck isn't usual, I would say, currently either. As plays resumes back over on their side, an artisan is a stadium that's put into play. That stadium allows the player to search their deck for a basic non rule box Pokemon to add to the bench. Tatsugiri is put onto the bench, energy attached to the active, so that way it can retreat into that tox Tatsugiri with the Attract Customers ability. When it's in the active spot, it can use that ability to take a look at the top six cards of the deck and put a supporter card you find there into your hand. Serena, or excuse me, Irida, found in the top six and added to the hand. That will probably get played right away to search the deck for an item and a tool. Excuse <laughs> that's Arvin. A item and a water type Pokemon. There is the origin form Palkia V Star. I imagine we're going to see that evolved and used straight away this turn. 
and the switch cart to get that Tatsugiri right back out of the active spot. Okay. So we really just needed that Palkia V-Star, I believe, to unlock this turn. The switch cart definitely helps, as you can only retreat once per turn. Palkia V-Star evolves on the bench. It now gains a subspace swell attack and star portal V-Star power ability as we're seeing it used right now to accelerate from the discard pile three basic water energy onto the field. Two of them go onto the Palkia V-Star, the other onto the benched Articuno. We can at least see a switch cart to move the Palkia V-Star into the active spot and it can attack with its subspace swell attack. 60 plus 20 more damage for each bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponents. More than enough to KO that brute bonnet and play resumes over on their side where a replacement brute bonnet is immediately put onto the bench. Now we just need the ancient booster energy capsule to unlock this turn for our Serena player. They're so close. Of course the combo I mentioned is the toxic powder with brute bonnet. Once during your turn if Pokemon has an ancient booster energy capsule attached you may make both at the active Pokemon poisoned. Then with the additional two poison counters taken in between turns thanks to the Radiant Hisuian Sneasler's Poison Peak ability, you could pretty much take a you can virtually take a one shot on the opponent's active Pokemon. Thirty HP left thanks to the Serena EX Icicle Soul, and then thirty damage in between turns thanks to the Brute Bonnet and Hisuian Sneasler, but we need that brute bonnet to have the ancient booster capsule attached to it and it does not seem to be anywhere in sight as a buddy buddy poffin is played to put a bidoof and another bound suite onto the bench and we're just gonna go in with an icicle soul here leaving the active palkia v star with 30 hp remaining and play resumes over on its side still massive pressure pressure but a ko here would have been optimal our palkia player Starts their turn by resolving an artisan to search the deck for a monkey dory, another a monkey dory to add to the bench. Double monkey dory down means 60 damage can be moved over to the opponent's side of the field thanks to its adrenobrain ability. Once a darkness energy is attached to it, of course, so we get a darkness energy on one of the monkey dory. Adrenobrain moves three damage counters from the active Palkia V star over to one of the opponent's Pokemon. Maybe you pressure a Bidu for a Bound Suite. There we go, the Bound Suite. So that way, if it doesn't evolve next turn, it can get KO'd by an Adrena Brain, of course. And I think Palkia V Star is just going to swing as hard as it can with its Subspace Swell attack. 220 damage, I believe, swinging for. As our Serena player begins their turn with an Ultra Ball discarding two cards in order to search the deck for that Bibarel and evolve it on the bench. Bibarel has that awesome industrious incisors ability to draw up to five cards in hand. And I think we're going to see that used right now. I think we can attack with Serena's second attack here, but we really want to build a backup Serena. So basic energy attached to the active Serena, the active Serena, has a second attack. Of course, Trop Kick, 180 damage, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon, and it recovers from all special conditions. It looks like our players did not he do the healing part of that, if it matters. We'll do some math later to find out if that matters or not, so bear with us here. Artisan, I believe, is being used now over on Articuno's side, as action picks up there to search for a, another Articuno to add to the bench. And now, a Paralyza. Looks like our players caught the healing. They're supposed to heal 30 damage, not just 20, but that's okay. It probably is less relevant now, as basic a second basic water energy is attached to the active Articuno. And the active Articuno is attacking now. Let's see if it does. Okay, yep, our players did catch the heal 30. Awesome. Alright, Articuno used Wild Freeze. 70 damage. This Pokemon also does 50 damage to itself. 
your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. For those of you who don't know, paralyzed, you rotate your Pokemon 90 degrees to the right, and that special condition says you cannot attack nor retreat, and at the end of your turn, the Pokemon is unparalyzed. So no attacking, no retreating that for that Serena EX. Now, switch cards can be played, like the Prime Catcher or something else, but let's see what our player can put together as they drop another brown bound suite onto the bench. They want to establish another Radiant Serena EX as soon as possible. Maybe get an energy attachment. Let's see what they can put together. They're probably a little... Um, in the tank here because of the paralysis we usually don't see too many special conditions in the competitive scene of the Pokemon trading card game but we're always ready for more as a grass energy is attached to the damage bound suite there we have the correct positioning of that card with paralysis as the player plays an ultra ball discarding a couple more cards to search their deck for Bound Sweet Stage 1 Evolution. I can't tell you what that is. Here's Steeny. Ultra Ball finds Steeny. So that way the Bound Sweet on the bench with the energy attached can evolve, but not before playing a Bibberol. Man, they should have evol evolved first, potentially, to draw one more card. Bibberol's Industrious, Inci Industrious Incisor's ability, of course, allows the player to draw up to five cards in hand. There is an Irida. That's kind of cool. Now they can search their deck for an item and a tool, and you guys guessed it, Rare Candy Serena found off of the Irida. We're going to evolve the damage one to give it a lot more HP. Basic switch, cool, into the, that Serena. Of course, it has 30 damage on it. I'm sure our players will get that. Bypassing that paralysis and continuing the onslaught of attacks here. Now, I don't think the Articuno can be knocked out, though as the Serena only has one energy on it. I think that was attached already. Yes. Ouch. So the Icicle Soul is used to put damage counters on the active Articuno until it has 30 HP remaining and play resumes over on its side. Our Articuno player starts off with an Earthen Vessel discarding a card in order to search the deck for two basic energy darkness and water found here of course the second adrenaline brain can be put online 60 damage can be moved off of that Articuno and the paralysis can continue I think second darkness hits the second monkey dory double adrenaline brain moves 60 damage over cleaning up the KO on the heavily damaged Serena EX does that really do it let me go back in time in the professor's lab to check some things out. How much damage is on that Serena EX? 180? It seems like, or 160? I'm going to kind of go, bear with me guys, I'm going to go back and make sure we're doing everything nice and clean here. 100. Yeah, it looks like there's 180 or so on it. Sorry for not keeping better track here. But we will, for the sake of uh, our audience and the video, assume that the six damage counters moved off of that Articuno is more than enough to KO that Serena EX mid-turn thanks to the double Adrenaline Brain. Two prizes taken over on the right side. And now we can attack and continue the par Paralysis Lock with the Articuno in the active spot Wild Freeze 70 and Articuno takes 50 but thanks to all that damage getting healed off we can continue the paralysis without knocking out ourselves this turn I think but not before playing an Irida to search the deck for a switch card and a Radiant Greninja Radiant Greninja can take that fifth bench slop, slot and provide some more draw power if needed. So we continue the wild freeze here, 70, and the opponent opponent's active is paralyzed. And 
Okay, I do have to make a correction here. It looks like 30 damage was enough to KO that um, heavily damaged bench Serena EX. So one Adrenobrain move 30 onto it to take the KO. The other Adrenobrain move 30 more from the Articuno onto the Serena EX in the active. Then 70 is done to it with Wild Freeze, so it has 100 damage on it currently. This play resumes over on its side. Steeny evolved on the bench. We have another switch, but do we have a way to get out of the act? Okay, yep, we could do it twice here. So we can move around twice here. Prime Catcher moves the opponent's Monkey Dory into the active spot, and then the Steeny moves into the active spot. Now an energy can be attached to the bench Serena, but not before a Nest Ball is played to search the deck for a basic Pokemon. Another bound suite is found here and will be put onto the bench. Now this Serena has the potential to knock out the active Monkey Dory, but we're not taking out that Articuno. That's the big one that needs to be KO'd this turn. So Bibero Industrious Incisors to draw up to five cards in hand. And yeah, that, all we're looking for here is a Grass Energy, as the Switch is already in hand to get the KO, but what do we do after that? Finally, the Ancient Booster Energy Capsule is found and attached to that Brute Bonnet. Now it can leave both active Pokemon poisoned. And the Radiant Sneezer can add two more damage counters in between turns for three damage counters placed from Poison in between turns on the opponent's active, but is it too little too late? Arvin is the next card played here. In order to search the deck for a tool and an item, Panic Mask and Super Rod found here. Looks like the Super Rod is played next to shuffle back a Serena EX and a couple of Grass Energy back into the deck. While he's shuffling up, I'll take a look at Panic Mask. Something about if there's like 40 HP, the Pokemon has 40 HP or less, it can't attack. Basic Switch moves that Serena EX into the active spot with the Energy. Both active Pokemon are poisoned here thanks to the Brute Bonnet. Toxic Powder. And are we taking the KO on the Monkey Dory? Yes. Serena EX uses I Icicle Soul to leave Mon Monkey Dory with 30 HP remaining. Then in between turns, it takes 30 damage counters, or 3 damage counters with the Brute Bonnet, Poisoning, and Radiant Hisuian Sneasler, making it so it has 0 HP remaining and gets KO'd. Articuno flies into the active spot and play resumes over on its side in this mid-game. Three prize cards and three prize cards. I think our Serena player plays the Prime Catcher and two basic switches. So I think they're out of switching cards. As our Articuno player resolves an Artisan to establish another Monkey Dory onto the field. The Monkey Dory with the darkness energy on the bench is threatening here. Another darkness energy put onto the field, onto that second monkey dory. I didn't quite see the tool card that was attached to the bench Articuno. Maybe it was experience share. Yeah, that kind of looks like an EXP share. That'll preserve basic energy when the active Pokemon is knocked out. Alright, we're using double monkey dory to move some damage counters off of the active Articuno to finish up the KO on the Steeny on the bench. I guess all six damage counters were placed there from the double Adrenobrain. Taking the mid-turn KO. And can we just continue to paralyze and chill? Yep, Wild Freeze. 70 damage. 50 damage to itself, and the opponent's active is paralyzed. Our players are making sure that they have all the correct calculations with all the little bits of damage counters. 
this game, what can our Serena player do to get past this paralysis lock? Deadly. Of course, the Serena EX in the active is paralyzed, and our players caught that and put it in the correct orientation there. Panic Mass attached to the bench bound suite just to get out of the hand, I guess, as a Hisuian Heavy Ball is played. Let's take a look at the prize cards. No basic Pokemon there, so shuffle the prizes, set them back out. Next is Bibaro's Industrious Incisors to draw up to five cards in hand. We can make another Serena EX to KO an Articuno, but there's already a benched Articuno there with the EXP share on it that can probably get going when needed. So Irida will be played to see what's in the deck. Pull some stuff out of there, a um, item and a water type Pokemon, of course. I seen there was one more rare candy in deck, but it's being chosen to just stay there as Irida liberates the Serena EX, at least. That's because there was already another rare candy in hand, but I think you still take something just to thin the deck out. Either way, Bound Sweet, Rare Candy, Evolve into Serena EX on the bench. Grass Energy attached to it. That's about all our Serena player can muster up here during their turn. They're unparalyzed now, but it is the opponent's turn. Water Energy attached to the bench, Articuno. Adrenobrain moves damage counters from the active Articuno onto the Serena EX. It looks like either they were able to take all their prize cards right there, or our Serena player just saw the writing on the wall, but I think they were able to, to, to clean up the game here in this round one of the League Cup. First of all, thank you guys for bearing with me through that video in a newer uh, matchup for me at least. And second, let me know what you thought of this video in the com and the commentary in the comments. Like this video, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time in the Professor's Lab.